Ah, hello. You've uh, just caught me planning my next trip. As restrictions have been eased a little bit in respect of uh, lockdown, then I'm going to recommence my totally mad day trips on the train. And it'll be part of a new series called Tour de Force Tours, a bit of a play on my name. So, for my first trip, I'm going to travel first class, of course, on the train from London, Euston to Macclesfield in Cheshire. And I shall get about eight and a half hours up there. Time to go into the foothills of the Peak District to Tiggs Nose, where there's some wonderful views over the county. So uh, I better get cracking, haven't I? Otherwise I'm going to miss the train. So would you like to come along with me? And if you do, I'll give you the details on the way. So see you there. This is the start of my new adventure, Westway Common, where I catch the bus into Purley, train to London for Euston Station, first time on Avanti West Coast trains, and before you know it, I'm at Macclesfield, and this is the view of the town from the station. Worth a closer look? It sits on a hill, and a bit of a pull-up Church Street, or 108 steps to the top, when I found the town centre, detouring to Greg's Bakery for later sustenance. From church side, a garden provides a magnificent prospect and an introduction to what lies ahead. That is Teg's nose, my objective for the day and the reason for coming. For this trip I used the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II with the 12-100 Pro lens, but I took the EM10 Mark II with its pancake lens as backup, which I used for grab shots. Here is the route. It is quite complicated, but I am quite used to reading maps. At first I followed the Macclesfield Canal and was fascinated by the intense sunlight reflected from the water to the arches of the bridge. Now this is not a still picture. Its effect can only be seen by pressing the video button. Soon I was heading into open countryside with views over the golf course to Macclesfield, with Jodrell Bank radio telescope clearly visible beyond. Northwards, Manchester was just visible. It's to the right of the picture, just in case you can't see it, by the way. I made my way via Birch Knoll to Langley Village to start my ascent of Tegg's nose, 1,246 feet above sea level, and there it is, in the distance, my objective, or should I say, ours, from your armchair, of course. Things get serious from the reservoirs. This one is named after Tex Nose, which you can see in the background. An inviting and easy looking track takes us behind the peak, over stepping stones, which would be necessary when the stream is in spate, starting to climb in earnest. What a glorious day, and the views are beautifully clear and spectacular. Haven't I chosen the right day? Yet I live 200 miles away. All done by studying the weather forecast. Well, you've caught me on my way up to Tegg's Nose. Come here all the way from Surrey on the train from Euston to Macclesfield. And I'm nearing my objective. It's quite a steep uh, path this. 
but I think within five or ten minutes I'll be at the top. So you've got the easy bit. I'll see you up there. Well, I never. I could have brought the car. But that would have been a long way from Surrey. And anyway, cheating. From the car park, it is a short distance on an easy track to the summit of Tegg's Nose. This area was mined for sandstone until 1955. It is now a country park, and some of the equipment remains on display. Whilst the views all around command our attention, I like the southern aspect featuring Shuttling Slow, which rises to 1,660 feet. By now the landscape has acquired a glow due to a westering sun. All in my planning, of course. I was curious as to why Shuttling Slow has a pronounced peak, whereas the neighbouring hills are all rounded. A notice board by the car park gave the answer. Apparently, the Ice Age and its consequences did not reach its peak, as it did the surrounding hills. If you are feeling energetic, there is a path to the top. <laughs> but not today, thank you. I reckon to have walked 14 miles by the time I get back to the station. Well, I pretty well finished my walk up uh, Cape's Nose, which is behind me, 1,246 feet above sea level. I hope you've enjoyed the journey yourself from the comfort of your armchair. I'm off now to the railway station to catch the train back home, the 7.36, so I better not linger too much. But before, I might just give my hair a bit of a brush, because, of course, I'm travelling first class. See you next time.